Alrighty, so I'm going to give a little tutorial today on one of my favorite aspects of this game. And we're going to hit connect and we're in. Let's go ahead and change the font a little bit. Boom. Hopefully you guys can see this. So let's make a character. We're going to go with create and we need a name. How about, uh, you know, something kind of cool. Uh, let's do Zvitrinlu. That's a weird ass name, but I think it's going to work. Alrighties. So for password, we'll just do something basic. And there we are. We are in. We'll make him a male. And now we are looking at a whole bunch of races that we get to choose from. Um, <clears throat> for this, I say we go with, let's do dwarf. Dwarf is always fun. Boom, we're in. As you can see now, it's actually going to give us a nice little um, collection of information about the race. Uh, we're going to hit accept for that. And now we are left with our choices of a moderate or ruthless. Again, you can click this, and it's going to show us a little bit about what each of these are going to do. Moderate is uh, for some of the newer players, in case you don't want to be full looted by enemies. Um, there is no other restrictions outside of that. You can progress just as far as anyone else. Uh, but for this particular situation, we're going to go with Ruthless, because that's how we roll. So... We are in on Ruthless. Let's do this. And we are not going to do an Adventurer today. But for new players, Adventurer is not a bad call. Makes it so you are completely PK immune. You cannot be attacked. Um, and you can progress up to level 30. And you can also, um, at that point, turn into any other class that you want. And you can do that before as well. So we're going to go with a No. Hardcore. What is that? Oh, man says we only start with 20 lives. That's kind of a bummer if you're like me and are terrible. Um, however, you do train faster, so that's kind of cool. So let's go with this. Yes. Now we get choices on our class. Um, this is debatable as to which one you should go with first as a new player, but you can kind of do whichever one you want and just get a feel for the game. We're going to do a warrior because, you know, why not? Seems like an okay call. And again, that gives you a little bit of information about the class choice that you have. And we are in. Now, this is really the interesting part. These are our stats. Um, as you can see, we start with 26 points um, down here in the lower left that we can add to our stats. Some of the more important stats that you're going to want to max out is con. How do we do this? We go add con and we're going to do 11. Let's max that bad boy. Now we left with 15 points, and uh, int and whiz are also both important. So let's go with some int, and we will add some whiz as well. Now that we're maxed there, we have four points left. And you know what? I'm kind of a like a dwarvy guy anyway, so screw it. Let's just go with strength. Um, we don't really need to dex, dex it up at all. Now we're going to end. We have our alignments, good and neutral. This is a pretty important choice. Um, let's see, how about good? I think good's a good call. Yeah, good. There's nowhere near enough goods running around. Um, now we have our ethos. We get to pick lawful, neutral, or chaotic. Um, personally, I don't think this really matters um, outside of if you want to be tribunal or not. If you want to go tribunal, you have to be lawful. So for this case, we're not going to go tribunal. We're going to be neutral because, you know, Neutral good seems like a, you know, decent chance. Um, <clears throat> these are our religions. They're not super important for a warrior, but for certain classes, like a cleric or dark knight, um, they're going to be far more important as they do kind of play an effect as to what you are capable of doing. If you are going to go with a religious -y class, um, do not pick atheism or agnostic because you will not be able to commune to your god and cast spells. So do not recommend doing that. But for this case, we can atheism it up. And boom, we are in. Now we get to pick a starting city. Um, everyone has a choice of Malbrim. All good characters have a choice of Valmoran. And all evil characters get the other city of Miravor. 
And then most races have their own unique city. In this case, we have the Dwarven city there, and we're going to start there. This affects where you recall to, which later on in the game there is some benefit to it. Now we get to go with a detailed creation. Um, you don't have to do this. There is very little benefit for doing it, but most people do do it. Uh, now we are in, and for our body types, what are we going to be? Um, I don't know, I'm a dwarf. I feel like a dwarf is kind of like a heavy guy, so we'll go with heavy. Face types. How about a heavy, like chubby dwarf? That sounds kind of cool. Um, skin color. Huh. This might be a bit much, but we'll go with brown. Eye color. Man, there are a lot of choices. Um, yellow. Yellow dwarven eye. He's a bit chubby with a, uh, you know, yeah, chubby face. I got this. Hair colors. We're going to be bald on the top because, of course, we are, right? And then we're a dwarf, so we got to have that long beard going on there. So we're going to do that as well. Now, this is really where most people pick the detailed creation for is your perk. They do give a little bit of a bonus, um, <clears throat> like every one of them. Uh, you could argue has potential. However, uh, for most general purpose, I would say lucky or adventurer. Um, in this case, we're going to go with adventurer. And we are in. Now we get to pick right or left-handed, which doesn't have a whole lot of benefit for us, but we'll go left-handed. And then how old are we? Hmm. That's a good question. We'll go with 50% of my life. Puts me at 400 years. Dwarves live forever, it appears. And we are in. Now we have a bunch of weapon choices. Um, basically, every class is going to get to pick a starter weapon. This is just going to be the weapon that your character starts with. You're going to have a 40 proficiency with it. Um, max of 100, unless you have something that pushes it above that. Um, in this case, we'll go with polearm, because polearms are kind of cool. And we are in. Boom. Now we get to go down. Now that we're in, we are looking at our academy. Uh, a few default things that I would highly recommend doing is getting used to the who. It's going to show you the players, who's all on, what all's going on, and you can see the flags associated with all of these. We have Savant and Herald and Tribunal. These are the different cabals in the game that uh, give you different perks and benefits, and they're kind of uh, like an end game progression idea. Um, where is another good uh, command to get used to using? It's going to tell you uh, where you're at and then also anyone who's next to you. So all good things. Look, we're going to go north twice, east once. And that's going to put us at this priest. This priest is going to let you practice stuff. So you're going to practice. Boom. This is what we have access to right now. Um, if you type score, you also get to see your score sheet, which is always a benefit. Um, every character that you create is going to start with five practices and three trains. And as you can see, my guy is absolutely no different. Um, but for practicing, it really depends on your uh, like starting class, you can't, I mean, practice everything, and as you progress through the game, there might be skills that you later learn that you don't particularly care for. Um, weapons are heavily important, definitely practice each of those. Um, enhanced damage as well. So we're going to practice that a couple of times. Now it says that we're learned at it. And what that means is, as you can see, for enhanced damage, it's at 75. You can practice stuff up to 75. It has base natural max of 100. And we're going to go south a little bit here. Yep. Open up the door. We are in our arena. And these are our plasm beasts. They're these little, I don't know, plasm beast looking things that we can attack and kill. So we're going to type kill beast. Boom. Nailed that guy. And look at that. My polearm went up to 41%. I'm a boss. Gonna kill the next one. Oh, yeah. I just leveled up, as you can see. I have my gains here of my hit points, my mana, and my move, and then your practices. The amount of practices you get is based on your 
uh, stats. And the amount of HP you get is also based on your stats. Same with mana um, and your race class selection. And yeah, that is kind of what I was hoping to show. And probably most importantly is the delete option. When you are done with your character and you want to be done with the game, you can just type delete, semicolon, delete, and that didn't work. Uh, I forgot. I think I have to have space. No, I don't know. Just type delete. Oh, no. Unfortunately, at the request of players, this command cannot be used after a recent combat or death. So, I do not know if I'm going to be able to show you how to delete. And that was kind of the whole point of this. That, my friends, is a little upsetting. So, in the meantime, what I'll actually show you is, you see that funny looking yellow D next to my name? Uh, that actually means you cannot progress past level 15 until you put a description in. So, in order to figure out what a description is, we can go help description. It's going to give us a nice looking help file here. Um, very clean, very crisp about what we have to do um, in order to uh, write a description. Now, basically, um, this is supposed to be a picture of what your character looks like. Oh, yeah, that hit return thing. We can get rid of that. Scroll zero and brief. Two of the most important uh, commands you will ever know in this game. Uh, but for description, we can go to description, edit. It's going to bring up our editor. And dot H is going to give you some of the base commands. Dot S is going to show you what we have. So far, we have nothing. But we can type stuff. Um, let's see, we have a plump fat dwarf. Um, so we might write, you know, something like uh, a short bearded figure sits before you. The lack of hair on top of his head gives the impression that he is older than many of his race. His, his, no, how, how would we put this? Let's do the dark circles under his eyes make you think that he struggles to get a good night's rest. And then dot S will show us what we have so far. That looks like shit. So how do we get rid of that? We do dot F. It's going to format it for us. Show it again. Boom. Nice, crisp. Um, ideally, you're going to want, I don't know, 15 lines for a description. You can go up to 30, I believe. Um, and yeah, that's basically what you're doing. If you want to get out of this, we can type an at symbol, get us out of this, and then our delete. Oh, there it is. And then one last time, and oh yeah, that's the stuff.